Hello everybody, Glee Man Tom here, and today we're talking One Piece. So recently I've been re-watching the One Piece series and I've been having fun. I'm not that far in yet, I've been taking my time, but I'm re-watching uh, sub and dub on and off, you know, I'm, so I'm having some fun with it. And uh, I wanted to talk about how Luffy got the iconic scar under his eye, because I found out that some people don't actually know, and I didn't actually know myself for several years going into the series, um, because it's not really shown in the anime itself, and I didn't really have the money for manga, so I went without knowing for quite a while. And what it comes down to is Luffy did it himself. Luffy caused this scar himself. This was around the time that Luffy was hanging around with Shanks, and Shanks was uh, posted out at Luffy's hometown, and Luffy just worshipped Shanks. He admired everything to do with the guy. I mean, it's very obvious that Luffy emulates Shanks in practically everything he does. And Luffy had been pestering Shanks for a, quite a while to let him go out on a voyage with them. And uh, in the manga, I was rereading re uh, the first uh, manga chapter uh, before I did this review. I only have the first volume, so don't expect me to do that too much. Um, and quite a few of the crew were actually willing to take them with him. I mean, the whole crew, everybody seemed to like Luffy, and Luffy was really kind of getting into it. He probably really liked the attention. Um, but anyway, so he's been pestering and pestering Shanks to take him along on a voyage. So at one point, he wants to show Shanks and the crew how tough he really is, how cool he really is, you know, that he wouldn't be a waste of space, you know, so he's standing up on high, and he has a knife on his hands, and he's yelling at everybody, and the crew looks like they're, you know, entertained, they're enjoying himself, and he's screaming, you know, I'm gonna show you how tough I really am, I'm serious this time, I'm really mad, and he straight up stabs himself in the eye, it was absolutely ridiculous, and he starts screaming and yelling, because it hurts, oh my god, it was hilarious, it always has been, uh, the manga, or, uh, if you watch it in, uh, I don't remember if it was on the episode of Luffy, or the episode of Leaf, uh, uh, episode of Leaf, um, episode of East Blue special. Um, but it's really kind of kind of hilarious. Um, you know, he just wants to show how cool he is, and he just ends up hurting himself. And it makes not even a little bit of difference because Shanks is not taking him with him. Um, but uh, one last thing I want to bring up because you know it's pretty it's pretty uh, common knowledge how Luffy got the scar. But I just wanted to bring my own two cents into it on um, the fact that he was probably trying to emulate Shanks again. I mean, Shanks has those three scars, uh, three lines, over his eye that he got from, I believe, Blackbeard. And if you look at Luffy's scar, technically it's three lines. It's the line under the eye and then two with it. And I'm not quite sure how the knife did those two extra lines. Um, I mean, wouldn't it just be the, the, uh, the crescent cut? You know, uh, maybe he, again, added those a little bit later. Just a little nick. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But Luffy has three lines. Uh, Shanks has three lines. I, I, I just drawing random comparisons now. Uh, anyways, this was just a short little video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot more in the near future. So, if you enjoyed it, like, uh, possibly subscribe. I'm not going to twist your arm. Uh, have a good day. I'm Glee Man Tom. Off to see what else the East Blue has to offer. Peace out, and have a good rest of your day.